Hey, I'm Kenneth Weichita. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo chats about gear I use, or sometimes it's gear I've used just to get it into the hands of somebody else. That's the case with this one. This is a little Pentax MV. It's kind of plastic. It doesn't weigh much. It doesn't cost much. I picked this up because this is for my partner. She's not the best at setting cameras and remembering how to set them. And this one has an automatic mode. And with automatic, she can just set the aperture and focus and the camera will set the shutter speed and work with her. And it's pretty automatic. I've taught her over the years, you shoot at 2.8 wide open at indoor settings and you shoot at F8 outside and everything will be fine. And it's true. Well, this camera doesn't even have anything inside the viewfinder that shows you what the meter is doing. It just has a green light or a yellow light. And the green light says, hey, you're good to go, shoot. And the yellow light says, hey, it's a little bit slow, hold, hold steady. And there's nothing else to it. And as a 28 2.8 lens on it, and I thought, you know, this would be good for her because she's good at making those two settings for wide open, 2.8 for inside and F8 outside. But then she doesn't mind focusing. She likes that part of it. And an automatic camera that it's plastic and lightweight, she takes with her. She has tried different cameras over the years. So I ran a raw film through this and she's in that same place where she just wants to work with a camera that's simple. And I think that was a, it was a raw of color film that I only put it in there just to make sure it was advancing. I don't, don't think I actually shot pictures with it. She's going to shoot the first pictures with it. And it's got two settings on it. It's got automatic 100 of a second for flash or if you just use one use a hundredth of a second and B for bulb. I say leave it on automatic. I have the ISO set for 250 because that's what I typically do with 400 speed film. And this becomes a point and shoot. Let's just make sure there's no film in it now. Probably isn't. You can always tell by rewinding. If it rewinds endlessly, it's no film in it. And then it's got a huge viewfinder and it's really, really tiny. I think they made these a lot of times, the Olympus and the Pentax were trying to go, how small can we make them? And then they tried to market them somewhat to women. But the idea was, how small can we make the body? People want it to be compact. And this is about as small and as lightweight as you can get. Not the most durable. My favorite Pentax is the MX, but it's all mechanical. You have to set everything yourself. This one doesn't have any settings. There's no shutter speeds on top. It's just automatic. And it wouldn't be my preference for somebody who is wanting to learn shutter speeds, learn photography and understand a lot. But for somebody who just shoots occasionally and wants to be able to pick it up and not have to remember too much, that's a great, great buy. I think that was maybe $15. And one of the deals was it came from a thrift store with the 28 2.8. So that's why it's like, okay, Mary Lee, try this one. I think you'll like this. You'll like the small size. You'll like the big giant viewfinder and you can't go wrong. And plus it's pretty cool looking with the Pentax MV in black, it's fancy. Anyway, if you find simple lightweight cameras, it might not be to your liking, but you know other people who want to get interested in photography, spread the joy, put a raw black and white film in it and give it to them. Sometimes that's how she got started. She had a Pentax K1000 her sister-in-law, I was in Cincinnati and I saw a K1000 SE with a brown leather covering. And I picked it up at a thrift store and I gifted it to her for her sister-in-law's birthday. And Mary Lee said, boy, if I had a one with brown leather, I'd use that. So I found one with brown leather and gifted that to her. And it was the first black and white photo she ever made. And she was completely enamored with the look of it. And she really enjoyed the work working with it. But she would forget to set the shutter speed and she'd forget she understood the aperture but sometimes she'd even forget that but she really needed something that was simpler so the k1000 is a great great lens great great camera great great automatic uh, manual everything camera but for somebody like her she doesn't need manual everything she needs simple and even the 28 makes it easier to hold the camera still because it's wider she can get in closer to things and she can step in closer and she can fill the frame, but not 
be shooting with a 51.4 where focus is so critical. And the 28 2.8 is easy to focus. The auto exposure is easy to work with. Get the green light, shoot. Get the yellow light, hold still. So simple. All right, that's today's photography talk. Pentax MV, pretty decent buy if you find it for cheap. If you can, uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. What are you doing? And if you can support, hit the Patreon. Thanks so much to all my supporters. I appreciate you. I will be back next time. We'll talk more photography. As always, here's the good light.